Hello friends, welcome back to Abhinay Info Tech Tutorials. Today I'm gonna start a new series in which I'm going to cover vast topics of C and C++ programming languages. Before starting with C and C++, I recommend you all to subscribe my channel Abhinay Info Tech available on YouTube where I also provide tutorials on Excel, entertaining videos, brain tricks, math tricks, and now C and C++ language in English language as per as demand of foreign subscribers. So before starting, C and C++ series, it is necessary to understand about two major things in the programming languages. There are two things, two languages actually available, two type of generations or classifications available for the languages. One is a kind, one of the kind is low level language and one of them is a yes high level language so there are basically two type of languages in programming low level and high level languages what are low level languages the languages these kind of languages are written only in zeros and ones that means the language is only comprises zeros and ones and zeros and ones are called binary digits in your computers your machines barely understand zeros and one they don't understand hello hi they only understand zeros and one and these binary digits in short called bits right so low level languages also named as machine dependent languages why because which kind of system you are using which kind of architecture you are using this zero one code will be dependent upon that if the system generates a zero one code for a particular machine there is a code for zeros and there is a code in zeros and ones it will never be run on the second machine because the code the architecture of the second machine may be different right that's why it is a machine dependent language once it it's written on a one machine it will never be rewritten on the second machine so you have to generate a second program for the second machine right so second type of languages are high level languages these are human understandable language the language that can be understand understandable by a person and that is nothing else than a language which is in English like structure, English like language. Right. So these are machine independent languages as compared to low level languages, right? That's why they are called also called portable languages. Means if you designed some program on a 32 bit operating system or 16 bit operating system, you can run the same program on 16 bit operating systems and 32 bit operating system anywhere else right now what happens behind the scene why low level languages are important or why what are the features of high level languages what are the loopholes in both languages or what are the benefits right so if there are two persons they want to communicate with each other now let us suppose there are basically two persons one is sender and second person is receiver one is sending messages and another buddy is receiving the message on the another end right receive now if he want to communicate in a low level language he is sending some message in a low level language like hello he is sending in some zero one format because we are dealing with the low level language so on the second side if there is some error or error occurring in between the transportation of data it may be due to 
मॉल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द वायर इंक्लूडिंग और इट मे बी ड्यू टू द ब्रेकिंग अप ऑफ द वायर और इट मे बी ड्यू टू सम वायरस इंटरफेरेंसेस दे मे कम सम एरर्स सो द डाटा मे गेट्स चेंज टू अनदर फॉर्म सो इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एरर्स इन बोथ डाटाज इन ट्रांसमिशन देन यू हैव टू कंपेयर ईच जीरो विद द ईच बिट विद अनदर बिट ऑन द रिसीविंग साइड सो दिस विल बी ए ट्रबल सम जॉब बिकॉज यू हैव टू कंपेयर ईच बिट विद अनदर बिट ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो डिबगिंग इज ट्रबल सम इन लो लेवल लैंग्वेज इज डिबगिंग इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज द प्रोग्राम इज इन नॉट योर लैंग्वेज बट इफ ऑन ऑन द अनदर साइड यू आर मैसेजिंग योर पर्सन हैलो हाउ आर यू यू आर सेंडिंग सम मैसेज आई एम यूजिंग एस एम एस लैंग्वेज सो इफ यू आर सेंडिंग ए मैसेज हैलो हाउ आर यू एंड ऑन द सेकेंड साइड देर इज सम एरर एंड द मैसेज रिसीविंग बाय द रिसीवर इज हेल एच आर यू देन इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली गेट इंटरसेप्टेड बाय द रिसीविंग साइड दैट देर मे बी सम एरर दैट्स वाई दिस बिट मे बी misprinted because this is in your native language you can understand this language easily that's why you can easily find out that there may be some mistake while typing the message or there may be some error so in high level languages debugging is easier right this is the very uh, first benefit of your high level language but what are the benefits of low level languages now take another example uh, another scenario i can clear this data first mm. now let us suppose there are two persons who want to communicate with each other but sender only comfortable in english language and receiver side person only knows french language they want to communicate with each other now what is the alternative you can provide you have to use some third person there must be some third person who knows both kind of languages name it as something like c name it as c now let us suppose they want to communicate with each other then they use c to communicate with each other because c knows both languages english as well as french language right so to communicate with each other they just uh, sender sends the message to this part and this will translate to this one or either the message can be retransmitted to this one by the translation one now this translation this translator in your programming languages is nothing else than a compiler and interpreter these are these are two things that are used in programming and what's their basic function is to translate one language to another language like low to high or high to low side languages right now take one more example if there is some another person namely d right his name is d and he is familiar with which language english language right and now he is communicating with this sender name it as a and this is b now look at both scenarios which communication is faster D is communicating with A, and A is communicating with B. Who gonna translate his message faster? D and A, because they are working in the same languages, English and English. If he want to communicate with uh, B, with B, then he have to translate it first, right? So it is a long process, and it is a short process. So when your program is written in low level language, the program will execute faster. The execution become faster. why because the program is written in low level language and which is understandable by machine also and that's why the communication becomes faster so there are basically two features of two languages one language provides you faster execution 
and one language provides you debugging process easier one makes you comfortable in debugging so there are two features of two languages these both features get adopted by a language the language which we are going to start is c language right these both features are being adopted by c language that's why c language also known as middle level language that's why c is a middle level most of the users said it is a high level language but it is not in fact a high level language it is a middle level language because it inherits or obtain the properties of two languages like right? one is of low level language and one is of high level language hope so this tutorial helps you in understanding the very basic of programming language that is c language in the next tutorial we start the structure of c language why we need header files what is the role of hash include why we use printf what is the syntax of printf which is not available in your textbooks so this all will be get discussed in the next video keep in touch with us keep subscribing us and keep commenting so that we can easily understand what are the loopholes in our videos Thank you very much. Subscribe our channel.